So in this video we're going to look at another problem. This time we've got an equilateral triangle, okay, uh, as best I can draw one, and its sides are of length 4 root 2. And what we're asked to do is find the height of the triangle, find h in this case. So what you should know is that if you split this equilateral triangle down the middle, like I have, then you're going to create two right angled triangles, okay, one on the left, one on the right, okay, both of them are equal, okay, I know they don't look it, but trust me, <laughs> okay, it's not drawn accurately. Then we have a hypotenuse of 4 root 2, and then we're going to have a base of the triangle here, okay, it's going to be half of the length of the overall base, so half of 4 root 2 is 2 root 2. Okay, so actually what we're dealing with is a right angle triangle where we've got 2 root 2 as the base and we've got 4 root 2 as the hypotenuse. And what we need to do is find this length, this height, x. Okay, I don't know why I've called it x, I'm going to call it h. Okay, it makes much more sense seeing as that's the level we're dealing with. So, in order to find h, you're going to have to use Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so a squared plus b squared is c squared. So that would mean that h squared plus 2 root 2 all squared is the same as 4 root 2 all squared. Okay? So we're going to need to work out what the 2 root 2 squared and the 4 root 2 squared actually are. So 2 root 2 all squared is the same as 2 times root 2 times 2 times root 2. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, root 2 times root 2 is 2. So this is the same as 8. Okay. Then we have 4 root 2 times 4 root 2. So that's 4 times root 2 times 4 times root 2. So you have 4 times 4 is 16. Root 2 times root 2 is 2, so 16 times 2 is 32. Okay. Then, that means that h squared is going to be 32 take away 8, okay, which gets us down to 24. So h is square root of 24, okay, root 24. Now, root 24 can be simplified. It's likely in this case that you would be asked to find it in most simplified form. So, 24, uh, a square number that goes into it is 4. So, this is the square root of 4 times 6. So, this is the same as the square root of 4 is 2 root 6. Okay? So the height of the triangle can be written as 2 root 6, and it would be just using Pythagoras. So this is another example of something where you need to use something that you have already been taught at GCSE level in order to apply it using certs.